Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe Photoshop Beta CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Generative Fill, which is a magical artificial intelligence tool. You can use Generative Fill to add objects. You can use Generative Fill to extend or add onto an image. And you can use Generative Fill to remove objects from your images. So to download the beta version of Photoshop, first open the Creative Cloud desktop app, click on apps in the top left corner, click on beta apps, locate Photoshop beta, click on install, then click on open. To use generative fill, you must be connected to the internet as it uses cloud processing and you must first make a selection. I'm gonna select all. So press command or control A then you will see the marching ants around the canvas. And as soon as I made this selection, you'll see this little taskbar at the bottom. You can move this all around. You can click on the ellipsis here. You have some options here if you want to pin it or if you want to hide it. And if you ever lose this, go to the window menu, go to the very bottom and just check contextual taskbar. When you have a selection made in the contextual taskbar, you will see generative fill. If I deselect, so if I press command or control D, I still see that contextual taskbar, but I no longer have the option for generative fill. With an empty layer selected, I'll press Command A to select everything. I'm gonna click. I can just enter in a text prompt. I'll type out mountain town with white water and wildflowers. And when you're done, hit enter or return or click on the generate button. If you look in the top left corner, you will see a progress bar and in less than about 10 seconds, I had this beautiful mountain town scene. This is not a photo. This is artificially intelligent generated artwork. I can come down to this handy contextual taskbar, which by the way, is currently available in regular Photoshop, just minus the generative fill. I'll click on deselect. There's also a rating system so you can help train the AIs. So if you like what you see, click the thumbs up. If you don't, click the thumbs down or click the flag to report something. In addition to the contextual taskbar, you can also use the properties panel to edit, modify, and manage the generative fill results. To do so, just select any layer that you use generative fill around, go to the properties panel. There you will see the text prompt box. There's a generate button. You'll also see the variations. You can just click to scroll through them. And if you hover your cursor in the top right corner of any thumbnail, click on the ellipsis, you can delete the variation or you can rate it. If you wanna generate more artwork, you can simply create a new layer and just start the process over again. Maybe you just wanna to add to this scene. Just make a selection. I'll tap L for the lasso tool. I'll just make a selection of where you want to add an object. You can use the generative fill in the taskbar you can also go up to the properties panel. I'll just enter in grizzly bear. I'll click generate and you'll see the progress bar in the top left corner. Now we have a grizzly bear in the scene. Here is a selfie that I took with my iPhone. I selected my subject, inverted the selection, and then I used generative fill to put in Mount Everest behind me. I got a couple different variations to choose from. Here's a photo I took on the Camino de Santiago. I made a selection of the grass and I added some wild horses. And then I added a covered wagon and then I added sunshine to remove unwanted objects such as these people in front of the cathedral in Santiago. I just dragged out a selection. I didn't type anything in. I just clicked on the generative fill and within seconds, the people were gone, the space was filled in and I got a couple different versions to choose from. This one was not so good, so I might give it a thumbs down. To extend an image, I'll tap C for the crop tool. I'll click and drag out some space below. I'll press command enter to commit. I'll tap M for the marquee tool and just drag out a selection of the empty space. I'm gonna click generative fill. I'm not gonna type anything in the text box. I'll just click generate. I'll review the three variations and pick the best one. I'll drag out a selection. Go to the prompt box in the properties panel. I'll type something out. I don't know, sunset reflection. Click generate, see what I get. Check the variations. Use blend modes and other Photoshop tools to get the image the way you want it. That is generative fill in Photoshop beta. Have some fun. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.